Never meet your idols. You hear that a lot when it comes to certain A-listers like celebrities or sports figures. Most of the time, they're right. But occasionally, occasionally your expectations are not only met, they're exceeded. If there's one car that's been granted automatic A-list celebrity status in the automotive universe, it is the Porsche 911. For the past 50 years, it has set the bar against which all other sports cars are measured. I've been a Porsche 911 fanboy for years. For most of my professional career, I've been writing about them. I've been in magazines, I've even been in a damn book about the things. But I've never driven a modern 911. Thankfully, that changes today. break that name down a little bit. 4 stands for all-wheel drive, S means it's the hopped up version of the car rather than a non-S Carrera. Given that it has the S badge, this one comes packed with a Cheech Marin approved 420 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque, all of which goes through Porsche's just excellent 7-speed Porsche Doppelkupplung, otherwise known as a dual-clutch automatic. If you haven't guessed by now, this is not one of those reviews where somebody who spent more time on the track than the highway is going to tell you how to spell Porsche Doppelkupplung or they'll tell you that the springs are 10 kilograms per millimeter too heavy for this exact turn at Fiorano. No, that's a bunch of BS. I mean, how many people actually take these cars out on the track? When it really comes down to it, you want to know the emotion that's coming out of this thing. You want to know how it makes you feel. And that's what I'm going to tell you about. For 2017, Porsche decided to slap turbochargers on all of its 911s from the base all the way up to the top, not counting the GT3. Personally, I had my reservations going in. I'd only ever driven naturally aspirated 911s and they were a fair bit older, so they had a much different sound than we're used to today. However, once I actually started kind of getting on this car, I don't really care about the turbos at all. I think it sounds great. There are two main gripes about the 911's noise. One of them is made up and one of them is real. Personally, I think it sounds a little bit like a power washer at idle, which is the real complaint. The second one relates to fake noise. Porsche has something called a sound symposer, which pipes in intake noise from the plenum into the cabin. It bypasses all the sound deadening materials and all this rich fancy leather, the stuff that makes the car pretty pleasant to drive otherwise. It's not absolutely fake. It's not a BMW that's hiding speakers that are piping in fake engine noise. Totally different thing. Porsche rolled out a new version of its PCM infotainment system for 2017, and not only is it the best PCM yet, it is one of my favorite infotainment systems. It's bright, it's fast, easy to use, and there are plenty of actual physical buttons for you to touch. One of my favorite things about PCM-specific iteration of Apple CarPlay is that it doesn't just shove you into the environment when you plug your phone in. Instead, it will display a prompt that says whether you'd like to keep it in iPod mode, which allows you to use your phone through PCM, or you can then hit Apple CarPlay and pop right into it after you accept the average disclaimer. In the event turning your head is too distracting, you can just look down and you will find an extra information display gauge that takes the most pertinent and important parts of the PCM display and moves it directly in front of your face. This interior is so good, I want to lick it. For $4,300, you can have your entire 911 interior swathed in smooth, supple leather. And in this example, it's kind of a blue-gray slate design, and it is c'est magnifique. Meeting the 911 was like meeting any other A-list celebrity. I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. Thankfully, my expectations were not only met, they were exceeded. It's great to look at, it's great to drive, and every single time I got out of the car, all I wanted to do is get back in. It's the whale of the turbo flat six at full clip. It's the feeling you get when you bury your foot into the floor and it shoves you right back into the seat. It's the feeling you get when you chuck it into a corner and it comes out the other side like nothing ever happened. Everything about this car makes me want to drive it. I don't give a flying whatever what its problems are. It's $140,000 awesome and I had a great time. Now that I think about it, do they make 40-year adjustable rate car loans? 